All right, go ahead, uh, uh, Bishop. Continue on talking about, uh, you know, Antonio Brown. So y'all think that y'all think that he was fucking her, and they just had a relationship going on. Is that what y'all think it is? Yeah. She sour. <laughs> and she trying to get a chick. Basically, bro. Basically, bro. This was an extramarital, extra relationship affair. He had, he got, he got yeah. baby mamas or wives, whatever, and got kids. And she got a, a fiance. Um, at some point in time, she had an affair with dude. He didn't want her. She got mad, calling a rape. All right, so I'm gonna read y'all this article of what happened. Hold on, <laughs> it's look, it's funny. They said Antonio Brown's rape accuser, Brittany Taylor, met him at Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't know, want no damn Bible study going on. Just come on, come on. See, 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 see. see. If that, if if if, if the skeezer was worried about the Lord, she wouldn't have been getting caught up in a rape accusation. See, <laughs> in the Bible, if he get up on his dick, she would have been, you know, she would have been on on on, on wouldn't be having these problems. See, pretty um, much. Let, let, let me read the article. So he's like the personal trainer. All right, I, I'm not going to be sexist right now, but I'm just going to be that long. The personal trainer accused the New England Patriots wide, oh, wide out, wide out. Wide Antonio out. Brown uh, of rape is a former gymnast, gymnast who first met the athlete at Bible study. And she claims she has passed a lie detector test about the alleged attack. Brittany Taylor from Memphis first encountered Brown at a fellowship of Christian athletes meeting at Central Michigan University in 2010 when she was a freshman and he a dynamic receiver for the school's football team, according to the suit. Mm-hmm. During her first meeting, she was paired with Antonio Brown as his Bible study partner. Yeah, they was fucking. Reads the bottom shell suit filed Tuesday in Florida. The pair reconnected in June 2017 when Brown then the all-pro receiver with the Pittsburgh Steelers reached out to Taylor on Facebook and asked for help in improving flexibility and strength in his ankles. I bet he was. And fast twitch muscles, according to the suit. Within a month of their reunion, Brown 31 allegedly <sighs> accosted Taylor 28 by busting in on her while she was changing and kissing her against her will, the suit claimed. That's a lie. Taylor who by this point ran the gymnastic center for young girls in her hometown of Memphis. Oh, yeah, she's in Memphis, all right. Though she <laughs> thought and she clarified the boundaries of their relationship, and they fell back into their old habits. As they had during their college Christian fellowship days, they often read scriptures, prayed, or what? Let's just be honest. They wouldn't, they wouldn't read no damn scriptures. This nigga probably can't even pro a scripture. Uh, they will <laughs> let alone. Please fill me with this damn Bible study. Y'all niggas was fucking. That's yeah. real. But no Bible I'm studying. I'm studying that ass. Excuse me. Exactly. All right. What? Okay. Listen to this, y'all. While they watched one religious video less than a month after the first incident, Brown masturbated behind Taylor and it ejaculated onto her back. What? <laughs> How you alleged. do that on somebody's back, though? See, look at here. No, 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 no. See, this don't add up. How y'all watching a religious video, but he just gonna randomly nut on your back? No. Nah, what he's doing was hitting it from the back and nut it on your back. Y'all wasn't watching no video. Exactly. You wasn't watching no video. Holy man. But, but they watching right. Joel, what they watching Joel Osteen? I, I, they, I don't know. I don't think they're gonna mention it, but we'll, we'll find out. Added that it left Taylor dismayed, confused, and embarrassed. Yeah, okay. The next day, Taylor got a series of profanity laden text messages from I'm Brown. So sorry, sorry, hold on, bro. I'm sorry to stop you here, but think about this. So they just chilling watching the video. He just gonna pull out his dick and do nut on her randomly. And she let that happen, though. How you not walk off? It takes a minute for it to come out. So she had to be sitting there watching this nigga and waiting. So basically, <laughs> what he made is he put a it's little... Like no instant, it ain't no instant type of situation. It ain't no, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, my bad. It ain't, no, you, you knew that nigga was working his shit and you was watching it. 
It sounds like some R. Kelly type stuff going on. <laughs> no, 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 no. It sounds like some, they they thought him to paint him out to be the black Louis C.K. You yeah. know the, uh, the the comedian. But they said he put out he well he actually announced it. He told his two co-workers, hey, you know, two females, hey, I'm about to put my thing out and jacked off. And they used to sit down and watch them. And that you know what? Not gonna go down because I think that's ridiculous too, but I think it's yeah. weird. But, but anyway, all right. This was, okay, this is what he said through an attestment. He said, Fuck your knowledge, bitch. Okay, first of all, I can't spell. He said, I feel all I guess he meant to say I be. Oh, bro. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. He took the stereotype of a dumb athlete, bro. I'm sorry, bro. He said, I'll build all pro <laughs> before I even knew you. Bro, reportedly wrote, you are a disgrace to little girls. You are a failed gymnast living in the past. <laughs> Yes, y'all. Oh. <laughs> she said, you know what? I'm gonna come for that buddy. Yeah, that I'm way. Hey, 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 you took it right out of my mouth. I said that that's why he's in trouble right there. <laughs> Call me a play Jen, that hurt off. <laughs> she said, she said, hold on, hold on now. I know I'm back in Memphis. I was in LSU, but you know I'm back in Memphis. Probably ain't doing nothing working two jobs. You ain't gonna sit there and talk bad to me like this. I'm gonna cut the check. <laughs> Cuz say you a failed gymnast, dang. Nick can't, he can't look. He can't even proper make a proper sentence, and he over here getting on you like that. She like, hey, I don't know. hey Michael King, you know, you know she probably working at the city tree.